What is going on, good people of YouTube? I'm Jay Soleil. Thank you so much for joining me. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you a secret coin making method. I say it's secret because I'm sure there's a lot of people that really didn't know about this method, that really didn't know that this was actually something that existed in Ultimate Team. Now, what am I talking about? Well, this is out of the Mutt Heroes missions. Let's actually click on the missions tab and you'll see we have four different missions underneath the Mutt Heroes. Now, if we click on one, you're actually going to see where we have different tier activities that are going to yield different items. For this first one here, once you win 50 games, you get 1,000 coins. Pass for 3,000 yards, you get 1,000 coins. Get 200 tackles, you get 1,000 coins. That obviously is not that much. However, once you complete all three tier 1 activities, you are actually going to earn a 93 overall Mutt Heroes Fantasy Pack. This is not a nat item. This item can actually be auctionable and tradable. You can put this on the auction house and sell this for coins. Now, if we come down to tier 2, we have more of the same. We have to win 100 games, pass for 8,000 yards, and get 500 tackles. And then once you complete all three of these, you're actually going to unlock a 95 overall Mutt Heroes player. This is an auctionable and tradable item. You can sell this and make coins from it. Finally, in this mission, as you can see, once you win 175 games, pass for 12,500 yards, and get 1,000 tackles, you're going to get 1,000 coins for doing each one. But the big one is going to be, once you complete all three of the Tier 3 activities, you're going to get another 95 overall Mutt Heroes Fantasy Pack. I'm going to spare you from going into the other three missions because they're ex the exact same. The only difference is just the actual challenge themselves is a little bit different. Just to show you one here for the second mission, you do need to accumulate 300 points, rush for 1,500 yards, and force 35 fumbles to get your 93 overall Mutt Heroes player. And obviously, Tier 2 is going to ask for a little bit more to get your 95 overall Mutt Heroes player. And then you've got Tier 3 where you can do even more to get another 95 overall Mutt Heroes player. So when you add it up, that is a total of 4 93 overall Mutt Heroes players and 8 95 overall Mutt Heroes players that you can unlock in Ultimate Team and auction those off on the auction house and make coins from it. Now, if we come into the auction house and we sort the players by the 93 overall Mutt Heroes, you can see these are up for about 40,000 coins right now. If you put that out on the market, let's just say after taxes, you make about 35,000 coins. And you can do that, remember, four times because you're going to unlock four 93 overall heroes by doing all of the missions. By the same token, you can unlock 8 95 overall heroes by doing all the missions, and that's going to sell for about 70,000 coins, so let's just say you make about 65,000 coins once taxes are accounted for. You can do that 8 different times, and then when you add in the additional 36,000 coins that you make from the 1,000 coins for completing each mission, you're looking at roughly a 700,000 coin payout for doing all of this. I don't know about you, but I could definitely do with another 700,000 coins in the old Mutt Bank account to help improve the team. Now the only downside about this is these are not necessarily a quick and easy coin making method. Now it is going to come and it is going to happen naturally over the course of playing Ultimate Team. So if you don't necessarily do steps to really achieve these proactively, but you're just doing them playing head to head games and playing some challenges, you're eventually going to get it if you play enough. Now let's just go through some of these. So winning games is going to be pretty simple. You can do this in either head-to-head -head or you can do this in challenges. You can literally do the same challenge over and over and over again. And each win is going to accumulate towards your win total for this program. Let's take, for instance, these two here and win 50 games and pass for 3,000 yards. You can actually go into the Rivals 2 Challenge. It's going to be the first one under kicking off. And you can literally pass the ball down the field. You're going to have speed enough receivers that are going to fly past the cornerbacks. Pass the ball for 80 yards. It's going to get 80 pass yards right there. You're going to score a touchdown, so that's actually going to accumulate uh, to another activity that you need to complete in another mission. And then you're going to get credit for the win also. So you're killing three birds with one stone just by doing that one challenge. 
As far as the rushing ones go, you can literally do the same rushing challenge over and over again in the first Rivals one to where you start at about the 5th yard line. You can go in for a touchdown. That's going to get you the win. That's going to get you 6 points. And then that's also going to get you about 45 to 50 yards. I can't remember exactly how far out it is, but you'll be able to see it on the screen. But that's going to allow you to work towards all 3 of those also. As you can see, you've got to have a certain amount of touchdowns, so obviously getting touchdowns is getting your points, which is working towards two categories there, uh, but then also completing passes, you're working towards categories there, uh, when you're also completing passes for yardage, so you're doing, you really can only have to do a couple challenges in order to do this. Now, as far as the tackles, forced fumbles... And sacks go well I've got one challenge if you want to do challenges that's going to give you every single one because you're gonna be racking up sacks you're gonna be forcing fumbles and you're gonna be getting tackles now we've discussed this before on the channel previously but it's going to be under the team affinity challenge and you're going to do the team builders series one and you can literally pick any one of the challenges that you see on the screen here they are all full games they're three minute quarters uh, but you want to be on defense as much as possible and you're going to be sacking the quarterback forcing fumbles a lot so the strategy here is pretty simple you're gonna to want to play this on one star and first off if you ever have the ball on offense you're gonna to want to just punt the ball back to the opposing team you're gonna be wanting to be on defense as much as possible in order to complete these activities Now, as far as what you want to call, you want to call any formation that has a pinch bucko, whether that's 3-4, 3-4 bear, 46, doesn't matter, just something that has pinch bucko. I prefer 3-4 bear, pinch bucko. So all you want to do is pinch the defense. You're going to use the linebacker that is already set to blitz, and at the snap, you're basically going to go around the guard, in between the guard and the tackle. You're going to try to hit the quarterback. Because this is on one star, just about every time you use a rush and get into the quarterback, it's going to be a fumble, I'd say 99% of the time. And there you go, you're getting your sacks, you're getting your forced fumbles, and you're getting your tackles all in one play. These are all going to work towards completing those activities to get you those mutt heroes. Now, if you don't like to do the challenges, I get it, I completely understand, I would much rather play head-to-head. -head. And the good thing is, is that you can work towards getting these mutt heroes in head-to-head -head games too. It's going to work just the same. I feel like it's going to go quicker if you do go play the challenges and use some of the tips that I've given you in this video here today. But if you want to play head-to-head, -head, it's going to work for you as far as that goes as well. So, 12 players, 895 overalls, 493 overalls, a total of around 700,000 coins that you could make from doing all of this. I'd say, what in the heck are you waiting for? Go out, complete these activities, go look at it. You're probably, if I had to guess, you're probably a lot closer than you think as far as unlocking some of these mutt heroes. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like rating. If you have a question, a comment related to the video, if I did not explain something properly, or if you want to say what's up, leave that in the comment section down below. I love interacting with each and every one of you down there. And if you're new to the channel and you liked the content, you like what you saw and you'd like to see more, definitely hit the subscribe button, man. At least consider it. It's completely free. You can always unsubscribe later on. Although I'm not advocating to do that, I really hope you'll stick around. I'm Jay Slay. I'm signing out today. I'll catch you all on my next video.